Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to explain math. Math is a built-in JavaScript object that provides a collection of math-related properties and methods. For example, if you ever need the value of pi, you would type math with a capital M dot pi. Then let's console.log this. Console.log math.pi. Pi is 3.14 and the rest of the digits. If you need E, E is known as Euler's number. It's used for the base of natural logarithms. We won't really be using E in this series, but if you ever need it, it's there. Math does give you access to a lot of useful math related methods. Let's create a few variables. Let X equal 3.21. Let Y equal 2 and let z will be undefined. If you need to round a number, let's say z equals, you can type method. Place whatever value or variable you would like to round within the round method. Let's round x, store the result within z, then display z. Console.log z. So 3.21 rounded is 3 even. There's also floor. Floor will always round down. Let's change 3.21 to 3.99. Let's copy this line. Paste it. Change round to floor. Floor always rounds down, so 3.99 rounded down is again 3. To always round up, you can use seal. As in ceiling, the opposite of floor. C-E-I-L. Let's change 3.99 to 3.21. 3.21 rounded up is 4. Then there's truncate. Trunk, short for truncate. We'll eliminate any decimal portion. 3.21 truncated is 3. Another way to raise a base to a given power is to use the POW method. P-O-W. Let's raise 3 to the power of 2. So x to the power of y, which would be 9. y to the power of x would be 8. There's a square root function. sqrt. Let's find the square root of, how about 81? The square root of 81 is 9. If you ever need to find the natural logarithm of a number, you can use the log function. Math.log. Let's set x to be 10. The natural logarithm of 10 is 2.3. If you need to do anything with trigonometry, there's sine, cosine, and tangent functions. Let's begin with sine, S-I-N. Within this function, you will place radians. I'll set x to be 45. So z is going to be 0.85. So that's sine, let's do cosine, which is COS, 0 0.52, then tangent, TAN, and that is 1.61. Let's change X to be negative 3.21 again. To find the absolute value of a number, you can use the absolute value function, math, dot abs it's basically going to give you the same number but it's going to be positive the absolute value of negative 3.21 is 3.21 basically we're eliminating the negative sign to find the sign of a number you can use the sign function s i g n so the sign of negative 3.21 is negative 1 if this were a positive number it would be 1 if it's 0 then the sign is zero. Here's a pretty helpful method. We can find the maximum or minimum value from a set of values or variables. Let's set z to be one, y will stay as two, and x will be three. I will create a new variable named max. It will store the maximum value from these three variables. math.max comma separate each of the variables x y z then display the maximum within our console.log method the maximum value from these three variables is 3 
Then there's min. For the minimum, let min dot min. So the minimum of these three variables is one. All right, everybody, so that's math. It's a built-in JavaScript object that provides a collection of properties, which was pi and e, and methods such as round, truncate, power, methods related to trigonometry, and max and min methods. They're pretty helpful if you ever need them. And well, that is what math is in JavaScript.